Oh, I get up around 2.30. But, you know, you sleep light the night before. Bob and I trade quips about whether we took half a Tylenol PM the night before or a whole one. In the old days, we used to take a whole one, I think. Now I take half a Tylenol PM because you, you, you don't want to oversleep. So you sleep very lightly. And uh, so you're tired for a couple of days. But good grief, there are people who've been awake around the clock for months preparing for this. So it doesn't matter if you have to stay up or get up early. It's, it's a privilege. In the old days, Bob, being afraid of heights, and, and admittedly so, would insist that I follow him up our winding, I thought rather rickety, stairwell behind the grandstand. It was a spiral staircase made largely of wood and kind of loose iron bars. He would say, so that if I fall or swoon, I'll fall on you. He would make me follow him up. But nowadays we take the cherry picker up, which is this you know, big box that you sit in and they hydraulically lift you up bouncing. Um, but I've been walking lately, trying to get myself in shape at this last 11th hour of my life. So next January 1st, God willing, I'm going to sprint up those stairs and surprise everybody. Yeah. I remember the old days when Mary Hart used to do it for one of the networks. Mary Hart, whose legs were insured for a million dollars or more, and for good reason. You notice they never light my legs. But Mary Hart always did the broadcast so that her legs showed. She would climb their stairs in her lovely shortcut suit, and everybody would stop and watch Mary Hart climb the stairway up to her booth. Nobody watches me climb, I'll tell you. But this year, if I sprint up, I, I might get a little attention because they know how old I am. I'm now very old. It gets coldest at 7 a.m. We're in the booth about 6, so we're shivering. By 7, we're pretty cold. And we're, then the light is dawning, and we'll hear somebody, if it's a good year, across the street saying, uh, Happy New Year, Bob and Stephanie. So we stand up, you know, from our little heated seats and wave and hello and holler. And then uh, at the end, we've gotten into the tradition of taking the beautiful bank of flowers that has been put in front of us and dismantling it and throwing it to the audience. It, it's a little embarrassing. You, you, know, you feel like... Louis the Fourteenth, you know, let them eat cake almost. But nevertheless, that's what they enjoy, and so we do it. We throw the flowers, and then if somebody wants to take photographs, we're there for them. You bet. 